What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to do a follow-up on a popular video I did a couple years ago on the Pioneer 80 PRS head unit. We're going to try some different methods of inputs and see how it affects THD, so stay tuned. So the purpose of this follow-up test is just to try some different input devices. Before we did the CD, this time we're going to add in a USB drive. We're also going to do an Android and an iPhone device. And we're going to do WAVE and MP3 files just to see if there's any difference in distortion. The test scenario today is going to be set up in a bench format. You can see the devices here that I'm using, including the Panasonic Distortion Meter VP7704P. This is an analog THD meter. And I'll show you here the different settings we have it on. We have it on the 0.1%, so that's going to show all the way at the far right, and you'll see why later, and the 10 volt setting. But we're also going to verify the voltage with a Fluke RMS voltmeter the 85.3 true RMS meter just to verify in digital format. Here you can see the RCA test lead that I've split the two different connectors out. That way we can connect it up, get the measurement from the THD meter. And we have it plugged in here to the mid output on the Pioneer 80 PRS and that's because the THD meter wants 1000 Hertz to do the test. Before I get started with any measurements, I'm going to go in and turn off the internal amplifier in the Pioneer 80 PRS because most people who use the RCA outs are not going to use the internal amp anyway. So here we go. Let's go ahead and shut that off to start the test. Okay, first up we'll try the USB thumb drive. We're going to do WAVE and MP3 files. But first up, let's plug in this USB extender to the back of the 80 PRS. This will just make it easier to connect in the thumb drive. And here's the Lexar 8 gig thumb drive. This is not anything special. It doesn't have to be a fast thumb drive because these files are not very large. So let's get it plugged in and try it out. You can see here on the thumb drive there's two different MP3 files. We're going to choose the 128 kilobit MP3 file first and going to ramp the volume up to max volume which is 62 on the ADPRS and we'll check the voltage. 4.97 volts steady as a rock. Here you can confirm the voltage is right at 5, just a little bit slightly under. And the distortion is, again, the meter is set to 0.1 being all the way over to the right. So when you see 0.1 above, that means 0.01. So we're just slightly above 0.01%. Here's a wider shot of the THD meter showing the voltage and the distortion. You can see the green light there also. We'll just go ahead and take down our measurements and keep going. Let's try 320 kilobit mp3 next. Now we'll go back into the thumb drive menu, go back to the mp3 folder, choose a 320 kilobit mp3 file. Again we've got the volume already set at 62. Let's check the voltmeter here. Exactly the same voltage, 4.97 volts RMS. And the THD meter shows a nearly identical measurement from what we got with the 128. It might be just look slightly different to you here in the picture, but it's how I was holding the camera. All right, now we'll go back into the menu of the test tracks on the ADPRS, the USB drive, and go to the WAVE folder. This is an uncompressed 44.1 kilohertz WAVE file, same as it would be on a CD. You can see our voltage is just ever so slightly higher, 4.98 volts AC RMS, and then the THD meter We've got around 0 0.008, so less than 0.01% THD. Quite amazing, but again, we're splitting hairs here. This is pretty close, but still impressive. All right, so next up, we're going to try the iPhone 6S Plus via Bluetooth. So let's get this bad boy connected to our phone via Bluetooth. Go to the Bluetooth audio mode on the Pioneer. Then we're going to bring over the 6S Plus, and I'm going to do the Ninja Fast connection here. Check how fast Big D is getting all this set up. Pair like an apple. Pair it to your head unit. And then we're ready to try the three tracks out. 
First up, we'll try the 128 kilobit MP3 off the iPhone. We'll turn the volume up to the max level. Here we can see the voltage displayed, 4.97 volts, well between 4.96 and 4.97 RMS. The THD meter, a little bit higher than the USB. You can see we got 0 0.02 approximately. Still ultra clean. Next up, we'll try the 320 kilobit MP3 file using the iPhone. Here you can see the voltage about exactly the same, 4.96 volts AC RMS. THD meter right around 0.02%, might maybe just a slightly bit above 0.02% THD. So the next test will be the WAV file, which is uncompressed through the iPhone going in via Bluetooth, 4.97 volts, so only a ten hundredth of a volt higher than the other modes. And then the THD, look at that, right at 0.02% THD. All right, and just from my Android peeps, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Get this bad boy connected in via Bluetooth. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking little phone here. Much nicer screen than the iPhone. But anyway, let's go uh, get it connected up via Bluetooth to the ADPRS. Very simple, just like the iPhone, only takes a few seconds to get it set up. Let's get it all connected up and try the test. All right, let's try the Note 4, 128 kilobit MP3. Turn the volume up. Oh yes, listening at high volumes for a long time may damage your hearing. Thank you, Samsung, for letting us know that. Let's crank the volume all the way up because we don't care. We're not listening to this through our headphone jack. We're listening through Bluetooth. 4.97 volts. Again, we're seeing a common 4.96, a common measurement here across the board. But look at the distortion. Wow. Have some of that, Apple. <laughs> Again, we're talking less than a hundredth of a percent, though. So it's not much, but still cleaner than the uh, Apple. Now let's try the 320 kilobit. Again, voltage is right around the same, 4.96. And the THD, again, 0 0.015 or so. So between 0 0.012 and 0 0.01, very clean. Now we'll try the wave file, 4.97 as opposed to 4.96. And oh, look at this, 0.01% THD. Samsung for the win, super clean, if you can say that. All right, so last up, we're going to do the CD test. Again, this is one that we did before, but we did it in a car. And this is actually a different ADPRS than the one I used before. The other one is still in my car. So here's the CD, the DD1 CD from Demore Engineering that comes with the DD1 unit. You can see 4.98 volts RMS AC and our distortion around 0 0.075, it's between 0 0.06 and 0 0.08, so right there, very nice. So what does this mean overall? Well, basically, <laughs> my tests here have shown that it doesn't matter which device you use, whether it's a USB drive, a CD, uh, Apple device, or an Android device, MP3 or WAVE, from a THD perspective only, the differences are very, very minimal. We're talking a couple hundredths of a percentage THD-wise is the only difference, and that's not something you're going to notice. But again, this is THD. This is not sound quality, right? So what about that difference? Well, we're not talking about that today, but it is something we will discuss in the future. Thanks, as always, for watching. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Until next time. I'm out of here.